Hello guys, welcome to another interesting video. Today we're gonna be reviewing Pat McGrath Mothership Bijou Brilliance Star Talk Splendor together with her Jeweled Temptation eyeshadow and blush palette. Now, this came as a part of her holiday collection and each palette contains nine eyeshadows with 12 months shelf life and two blushes with 18 months of a shelf life. Now, these two blushes were made in Italy where the eyeshadows are made in the USA. This is how packaging looks like. I already do have full in-depth video um, actually, I purchased the whole collection and I break everything down. I had my first impressions and created a look from almost mostly of the collection for the look. But today we are mainly going to focus on this one. Is this worth your money? What do I think about application and everything? So without any further ado, I want to show you swatches and then this video tutorial. And with my final thoughts, I'll let you know what do I think about it. And is, is this worth your money actually? We are with the first big palette. Let's swatch this one. This is Mothership Bijou Brilliance Star Truck Splendor. Now, this palette contains nine eyeshadows and two blushes. One of the blushes is existing and that is Nymphette. When it comes to eyeshadows, these are all new as far as I know. Let's go and start with the eyeshadows. So this is the first eyeshadow. Woo. So I'm gonna swatch first row. Hmm. You know what, the eyeshadow, the matte eyeshadow feels a little bit drier, I think, than usual. Anyways, here is Opalescent Moonstone. Ooh, this one is beautiful. It shifts really nicely. Then we have Dawn Divinity. Hmm, beautiful shade, swatched a little bit sheer. And now we have Eternal Bronze. This is kind of a classic bronzy Pat McGrath shade. Now we have Fleur Ever Nude, Fawn Fantasia, and Serene Sienna. And now the row that I'm most excited about, this is Celestial Caledon Mythic Majesty Emerald Eclipse. This one has like a black base underneath and is really pigmented, different than this minty shade. I will definitely incorporate these two and also these first two shades are much, um, I'm really interesting in those. Everything in the middle, it feels like... Pat McGrath shade, but I am, I'm gonna tell you I'm really skeptical at the moment just because of the way they feel, the way they swatch, but we will see. Except for these shimmers, I think they really do glide really nicely. Now for the blushes, this one is Nymphette. This is really, really beautiful, beautiful shade. This one is much more vibrant and I don't know if I'm gonna love this one. See, the thing is with this second shade that it is super vibrant. I'm not sure how this will look on a deeper skin tone. So Nymphette, which is existing shade and Coral Cosmos, which is new shade. And for the blushes, we will see how they will build up. This one is much more brighter and this one I believe would look really, really beautiful on my skin tone. But this one also complements the rest of the palette, especially these greens. That, that's what I believe she put this undertone in this palette. It makes sense. And so here we go, guys. All nine shades and two blushes from Starstruck Splendor. Now let's take a look at the other Mothership Bijou Brilliance palette. This one is called Jewel Temptation. Also having nine eyeshadows and two blushes one of them being existing, and everything else is new. Let's watch first row. Coral Nectar, Amber Aura. This matte felt a little bit more creamier. And Star Garnet. She did put like a um, duochrome in each palette. So this is second row, and this gold is, is stunning. And this burgundy, oh my god, this is beautiful. Daring Desire. Midas Mystique. Midnight Sherry. I gotta say, this is pretty beautiful combo, these two shades. So this is the last row. Smoldering Bronze, Blooming Sienna, Amethyst Noir. I gotta say, I am pretty surprised with this last shade. So creamy, has black base underneath and it shifts 
so beautifully and now for the blushes see i can't i have to hold this otherwise this would fall so we have desert amber which is a new shade and paradise venus which this is beautiful this is her existing shade so in each palette we do have like kind of a brighter and then deeper um shades so the new shades are pretty much more vibrant the new one but i have to say i do prefer at least in the swatches the old one and i'll take a look at the whole palette i will start with the palette that i already have used and that is going to be star stack splendor if you watched my video on this specific palette you'll know that well in general i did expect it more and at the same time, I was excited about certain art undertones from this palette. Now I'll do more of a basic look today and I'm gonna start with this Forever Nude shade. And as you can tell, these are really kind of a dusty when you take them out of the, with a brush out of the pan. So make sure to take the axis of the brush every time. What I do have on my eyes is Pili's shade number two. And I'm going to start start by applying this shade in my crease but now i'm realizing um for me this is a bit deeper transition shade but as these are applied a little bit sheer when you apply them and um, you do need to reapply them for the full opacity a couple of times they're definitely not like mattes in the mother ships that their pigment grabs so the, it grabs instantly right so this one and they need to be built up which for some of you this might be a big plus because in a way it is easier to work with them not my preference but i am at the same time not mad at it and i can see how it is a bit lighter i'll go and just repeat a tiny bit more and i will drag this color sort of speak to blend it more towards my eyebrow and i'm gonna go in with my favorite shade which is dawn divinity yeah this is definitely my favorite i think in a way this shade is so special i just love it i don't know what the next theme for her mothership will be but if you have this color inside with the italian formulation i would really love that I'm just going to take a bigger clean blending brush, work around the edges to blend them even more into my skin. Obviously, if you are um, deeper skin tone than I am, this would definitely look more subtle on you, more like a eye contour sort of speak. And I think that will look good on you as well. Now, this is how a combo of Forever Nude and Dawn Divinity looks like on my eye. I had no issues blending it. So maybe if you are a beginner, you would appreciate that. What I wanna do at the moment, take a smaller blending brush and then go into Dawn Divinity again. Because I said, when you apply them, they are kind of a sheer. And then I just want to emphasize a little bit more my so you can make this look lighter or darker depending on how many times do you go with these eyeshadows okay now as i'm looking at the lighter shade from this palette well the only shade that i do have is this duochrome which is called opalescent moonstone and i'm going to use that one like it's fine if you blend it this way you can leave it like this because it blends towards your skin um this area that goes towards the eyebrows but still i wanted to do something there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use flat brush and because of the formulation of this eyeshadow i will go with a small flat brush slowly and i'm not applying any fitting spray because it would emphasize everything and you can see now how this is really really like strong let's just dial this a little bit down just so you know, if you are going with a more neutral look with this palette, unfortunately, you do not have lights in here. So I would not suggest to use this shade because um, even though it's gorgeous, like unless you're doing something more creative, this is not for a daily basis shade because it is so, so vibrant and sparkling. And I just apply like a tiny bit and I'm just basically removing everything. And I remove even more. Okay. I think that's it now because in my last video i did use celestial celadon and emerald eclipse i want to avoid those for today okay what i decided to do is to go with the dawn divinity on my outer corner 
like so and really really packing it i also realized i have to go a couple of times again as i said before i reach full opacity of these eyeshadows but i'm definitely in love with this color from this palette i think that this is the only <laughs> shade why i would um keep this palette for myself now looking at this kind of a basic look i have an issue thinking i do not have any lighter shade for my inner corner not even like my skin tone is hmm so what i will do here what i can do unfortunately i don't feel like i'm so limited with this one i am applying fawn fantasia right here and also using my finger to apply eternal bronze so i will try to connect these two i'm gonna switch to the brush where i applied my dawn divinity shade and try to blend it in with this bronzy shade and this is how it looks and i am not liking it but what will save this look is the eyeliner but it has to be like um thicker eyeliner like they are pretty shades it's just the way they work together let me just lift this area right here with the shimmer it will open up the eye a little bit now once I applied the eyeliner i'm still gonna say that in a way this looks weird i will come back later for the lower lash line and i'm having glitters everywhere anyways right now i do want to go into dual temptation and as i already mentioned in the first review video i really did enjoy this amethyst noir shade i think it's gorgeous and i know for a fact that one is beautiful but what i do want to do is to i want to play with this burgundy shade i think it's gorgeous midnight cherry and also with this gold before i start i will refresh a little bit my base and make sure that i have no creasing and that everything is as it should be because this base stayed here for a while like it's not too bad but still i want to make sure that everything is as it's supposed to be now i'm gonna go in with the ombre amber aura shade first in my crease and i'm gonna do basically same technique here i'm just having a feeling i'm gonna enjoy this one a bit more than the last one one issue that i have with both of this palette is that we basically don't have light shades the light shades that we do have in here are kind of a weird because they are so duochrome and shimmery that i can look to like too much you know for just highlighting anything i feel like it steals everything else from a look especially if you are creating more of a neutral look now one shade that i was really excited about and i haven't tried it yet is like i said it's midnight sherry wow beautiful midnight sherry shade okay i definitely need my blending brush here okay this one definitely blends differently it feels like this one is not easy to work with you guys look how pigmented this is this reminds me of the way it grabs it reminds us it reminds me of a mothership shades in a way but just it's a bit harder to blend but if anything i'm happy that it does have this strong pigment and i need smaller blending brush clean brush and now i'm just gonna work around the edges because this one is so so strong okay this one is definitely harder to blend even though i applied lighter shade underneath oh my god if i went directly on the base i don't know what would happen like it would be even harder okay let me just take one step at a time yeah this looks way better than this already i'm not just saying because of a depth now this eye if i just left the the crease that i made i would prefer that than combining the shimmers which i wanted to see like how they work and they are okay but it's nothing special you guys honestly like i would feel better about them if i could have differently like if if they would color story wise apply better we would already have and again i'm combining eyeshadows from this palette okay you guys in the meantime my battery died so i did apply a little bit just the thinnest liner next to my lash line anyways now i'm gonna go in star garnet shade um i think this one beautifully pairs with the previous one okay let me blend this and just one thing that i have realized like seeing this midnight cherry um shade in a pan 
like on my eye it does look more of a deeper shade it's in a pan like much more grungy i felt like i was hoping it will show a little bit more of that kind of uh, redness rather than darkness hmm. hmm anyways i'm blending this one and it blends nicely into this now at the same time i did want to try this beautiful golden shade as well let me just blend the edge here a little bit before i move on so this one midas or midas mystique that i will connect to our previous shade that we applied and this looks beautiful it's reminded me kind of uh, sunset to be honest yeah beautiful connect everything with the lightest shade which is coral nectar now this one is a little bit more toned down than the shade in the previous one well at, at least i think let me just see on my eyes what's going to happen like in a pen yeah it does look much more toned down the thing with this one is that it has like a pink shimmer which in a pen it does look more yellow and i thought it's going to combine beautifully with the previous one but it would rather combine better with the shade right here that i have so i'm going back with the yellowish shade yeah even the top of this okay so the combo here is not not too bad okay i think it's kind of nice we just take smaller brush and the shade that i've used before we just blend these edges with the previous brush that i've used with this matte now for my lower lash line i will do the same following everything or almost everything that i already applied we'll see i'm gonna take bullet brush and go first with this shade right here with a smaller brush i will blend the edges now i'm gonna go in with the amber aura shade and this will help me to kind of a connect and blend everything before i go in with my shimmers and now i am just repeating the same shimmers that i have used these shimmers are like they are soft they are not like super super intense obviously you can probably make them a little bit more intense than they are by applying um fixing spray yeah i like this and i think this one turned out pretty good i love the sunset effect so to speak oh and this is so beautiful when i emphasize my lower lash line a little bit with this deeper than the shade it looks beautiful now i'm going back to the first palette and i will finish the lower lash line so i will start with the divinity dawn and i'm just using forever nude to blend the edges now i'm going back to foam fantasia and eternal bronze right now i will finish the rest of my eyes i will apply some lashes and i will be back for the application of these blushes from this palette i already have my base on and my foundation has been set i also do have a little bit contour but i don't want to go um nothing too heavy just to distract applying this blushes a star stuck splendor i will go in with the shade nymphette so let me just swatch these two for you so this is in fact and this is coral cosmos which is a new shade that we have i don't know i just felt like this new shade was a little bit too bright and i will start by applying nymphat just slowly i will build it up you can obviously build it up as much as you can uh, one thing that i wanted to say about nymphat that this is not a matte blush it does have like this um when I turn my head, I can see like kind of a gold specks in it. And like I mentioned in my previous video, depending on what I'm doing, that can be good. But in general, for the most part, it is not something that I love because it really has to match everything that I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm having this beautiful blush and then I'm having this weird gold undertone if I'm doing something else. So just something to have in mind. And again, I think I do lean more towards this blush than... The other one just because of the brightness of the other blush and this is how it looks like now let's go to the other palette and let me just clean my brush here we're having desert amber and paradise venus i think paradise venus is the existing blush now i will start with a lighter shade and these actually they do match pretty good um what is what do we have on in this palette when it comes to eyeshadows I'll, I'll say that these are much more like 
toned down, they are not that bright. So the first blush, I will focus on this area and I will connect the other one, which is darker towards the rest of the blush. And this is how the first one looks like. Now it does look a little bit bright. So I don't know how this would look on a deeper skin tone, to be honest. And now going in with the Paradise Venus. I realized in this collection with her new blushes, um, in general, they are, they are a little bit more vibrant in a color and pretty much light, except for the one that I really love. And let me just bring it. Now, this blush right here is gorgeous. Now, this is meant, of course, for the deeper skin tones, but this is Supernova Siren and this one is Midnight Orchid and it, it is gorgeous. I love it. Um, it is definitely my favorite from this collection. Everything else, well, I wasn't super impressed about it. Now this is how they both look like. Um, this one is a bit deeper than this one. And you know what? I will just apply a little bit of highlight, finish the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. Now, before anything, um, based on these color stories, I'll say that this palette here is leaning more towards like a deeper skin tones, where this one is more like a medium and light skin tones. Not necessarily, but this shade right here that I've used today is really, really deep and pigmented. I did have issues blending this one. So I'll say if you are using Midnight Cherry, make sure just to either layer down the eyeshadow that you are using already. Um, really, really blend it well and then go on top of with that shade. That will make your job easier. Or if you are using base, make sure to not use like super, super tacky base because that most likely will leave you patches. Now, in general, I'll say, okay, watching this online, I was 100% I'm gonna lean more towards this eyeshadow palette. Turns out that I am leaning more towards this one because of the color story, because of the depth of this palette and kind of because of the variations that we have. At the end of the day, do I think that these palettes worth your money? Even though, keep in mind, we do have two blushes and nine eyeshadows. But that being said, I don't think it does. I think it will worth your money if you are into these color stories. And to have a value of these eyeshadows and blushes, get this on a sale. For the most part, you'll have no problem blending this. And this is even beginner friendly, the way these eyeshadow acts. And I know it's not too high of a price considering we have nine eyeshadows, two blushes in each of these palettes, even though it is not like super quality and um, the greatest packaging from Pat McGrath, but the quality comes in and i'm not gonna say this is bad quality i'm not saying that at all but the thing is this is not on a level like those five queens are or the level that her motherships are like those products are like each scale up and with her motherships we do have a certain quality standard so when would you think oh for this price i get nine eyeshadows and two blushes from pat mcgrath that's awesome but these they do not prefer this perform the same. So in that manner, I'll say if, again, if you are into this color story, you won't have that much problem blending these eyeshadows. I'll say for you to wait because she often does have, even on her website, she does have like 30% off. Um, and there are a lot of deals right now. And even though this says not limited edition, but limited quantities, I'll say if you are so intrigued to buy one of these, then wait for a, you know, sale of these products because to pay for the full price of this, me personally was kind of disappointed. And of course I didn't want to pick this uh, products up no matter the price at the moment, um, just because I wanted to make a review for you guys to give you my honest opinion and share my experience with you. Have I expected more from these? I really did. But um, again, as I will repeat, the quality is good, but it's not like we are used to from Pat McGrath, I would say. And also, I did have higher expectations for this one, especially being so excited seeing different color story for a bit to um, move a little bit from those in general rosy shades, especially that she had within her last couple of motherships. Anyways, in this battle eyeshadows um, video, I'll say I do lean a little bit more towards the Jewel Temptation palette, which I'm kind of surprised because I thought I'm going to enjoy this one more. But in the end of the day, both of these are not what I expected to be 
mainly because of the choices between the color story. I do miss the lights in here and there is so much that you can do using just this eyeshadow palette. So to create something, I would definitely have to go in with my different palette to create something full in that eye makeup look from beginning to the end as I would like to do, to show everything. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts when it comes to this one. And of course, I will see you in my next one really soon. Thank you, bye.